All right, guys, welcome back to another video of BK Builds. We're changing up the background. I was deciding that this is a Lego channel, so I should probably have a Lego background. I think having one of my bookcases behind looks a little better than just a plain white closet door. Uh, but today we're reviewing the April 1st Winnie the Pooh creator set that came out. Uh, I'm not a Winnie the Pooh fan by any means. Uh, my girlfriend wanted the set, so we went on April 1st. Of course, I had to buy Legos. Uh, she picked this up, and so I'm reviewing it, and I helped her build it. It's a fun, cute set. All the way around is awesome. Uh, so, without further ado, we're going to jump first into the box. I usually don't show off the instruction manual, but this instruction manual is a little different, so I'm going to show off the instruction manual, then we'll do the figures, and then we'll jump right into the set. Uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we have the box for the set. It's in its nice, classic all black creator series, uh, the Lego Ideas style, the 18 plus. I know some people get mad that it's the 18 plus style uh, box, but I think the black boxes look amazing on these creator and idea sets. Uh, it's fantastic. The box art itself is great. Uh, I love, you can see the little drawings in the background. Uh, it just, oh, it's so good. The whole box goes so well with it. Um, you can see the ideas, the 18 plus, the serial number, uh, and the piece count, 1265, which is quite, is, is a good amount of pieces. Um, 1200 pieces for the set um, is not bad at all. Even when you look at the set, it looks about right. It's not one of those sets where you question, um, you know, the price per part. It, it makes sense when you see a set for sure. Um, on top of the set, you can see all the minifigs up top. Um, you see a little jar of honey to size. Um, on the side, we do have Winnie the Pooh, uh, the drawing, which is nice. Um, here's the backside of the box. It's the house opened up, so you can see all the figures sitting inside. Um, don't want to spoil too much, because I'll get into details of that. Other side, just Winnie the Pooh. Nothing on that side. Yeah, so box is pretty nice. Um, what I did want to show off was the instruction manual. So I'll go next to instructions, and then we'll get to the figures. All right, so here we have the instruction manual. I just really wanted to show off the artwork on the front. Um, that's pretty much it. Usually all Lego sets have the picture of the set on the instruction manual. The instruction manual itself is a typical Lego set. Um, there's a couple of fun uh, build techniques in the set. Uh, but the artwork on it, I, I'd never seen an instruction manual have not the picture that's on the box. It's always usually the picture on the box is on the instruction manual. But this actually has artwork on it, non-Lego elements to it. It's so cool because I wish more Lego sets did this. It has all the minifigs walking together. Uh, I think that's awesome, awesome thing to do for an instruction manual. It really brings out the whole, this is unique, this is different, this is one of a kind set. I really hope all these big new sets start doing this because this is something that was fantastic. Uh, props to Lego, and I'm glad they decided to do it on the Winnie the Pooh set because the instruction manual looks freaking awesome so it's really cool uh anyways i just wanted to show that off because that's something you usually don't see um and we can jump right into the figures all right guys first character up is winnie the pooh the main character of this lego set uh he looks great um custom head mold for all these figures all brand new dual molded um uh, only thing that isn't new is his legs obviously those are just common yellow legs uh, only have one complaint about this figure, and that is his torso. They decided to print yellow onto red, which created this darker yellow, which means that his stomach and his neck do not blend in with his head and his legs. It looks a little odd um, with these two different shades of yellow. I mean, it, obviously, it doesn't look bad in the set. It's the best they can do. Um, I wish I dual molded it instead of dual printing. It's not bad. It's the same for the back as well. Uh, you can see. Oh, and he fell. Um... He has this secondary, The it just looks a little odd. Um, he is falling all, it's, they have such heavy heads, they're so top heavy. It's so hard displaying them without uh, being studded in. Uh, his head looks great, I love it. He has a cute smile, little dot eyes. He does come with a custom balloon. I'm not putting it in his hands because this balloon is really heavy. It doesn't even look like a balloon. Uh, it still looks fine. It just makes him even more impossible to pose. Um, as you've seen in the beginning, I had him posed with the balloon. Um, it just looks a little odd. Uh, next character up is going to be Piglet. Um, Piglet is all sorts of 
pink colors. Um, I, he's so hard to show up on the camera. His pink colors is not coming in. It's a very whitish pinkish. Uh, you can see his ears and his shirt are darker pink than his lay, uh, than, you know, his face and all the other things. He has a cute little red scarf. Um, not much to all these figures besides, I mean, the main part is being their custom heads. Those dual molded heads are really cool. Um, and these are all going to be collectible figures eventually. So Piglet, again, he doesn't come with accessories. On the box, it shows him with the umbrella. The umbrella is in the house when you build it. I'll show that off later. Um, then we go next up being Tigger. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to... He has his little satchel. I thought that was going to work. That is not going to work with him. Um, this guy is probably the coolest out of all of them. Um, he has... All sorts of colors on them. He has obviously this tiger print. Um, he has a tail. The tail connects to in between his feet and his torso, um, which is really cool because it gives that actual tail to him. Um, it's really nice having that. I know they've been adding it on to lots of figures lately. Um, it's cool they decided to do it a custom one for Tigger. Um, obviously, new head. This is all custom. Not custom. All new for this set alone. Um, he's the only character that I think has nothing that's old. Um, for the life of me, I could not remember this character's name. So I had to look it up, and it turns out his name is Rabbit. Um, uh, not... <laughs> I, I don't know. I couldn't remember his name. Of course, it's just what he is. He's an awesome shade of yellow. I don't ever recall seeing that color on a figure, this light yellow, um, tan mix. It's really cool. Um, he has a white, obviously, blended in through him. And it's nice because the two light colors don't create this off color it, it blends in the white on his chest blends right into his neck and his mouth it looks great um he's holding a carrot you can see the pink on his nose and his ears with his little cut uh you know brand new molded head last figure i don't know if it e even can be considered a figure he's literally just one piece that is eeyore you do not build this character you literally just pull him out of the bag and he's already made for you um obviously there's not much you could do with Eeyore, you can't really make him into a figure like that where you can build him. Um, but he is really cool, and because he is just a one-piece thing, all the colors look great on him. There's no off-putting colors. Everything just looks fine. Uh, you can see he has gray, a sand blue, purple ears, um, black hair, and he has a little ribbon on his backside. Um, Eeyore is probably the most simple, but they all look great, especially when they go into the set because all their colors are so unique. They look really cool with the set, and that's probably the best part to them is that all these figures are really unique, and they go so well. They blend right in perfectly, um, and that's the best thing to them. And having all five of them are going to be so unique and so rare later on. Um, fantastic figures selection throughout. So now let's go right into the set. Alrighty guys, so for this part of the video, we're going to do it off my phone. Instead, it's too hard to get into all these little details with my camera. Um, so I don't want to hide any of these details and I want to hit all of them. Um, so we're just going to do it off my phone. I know it's not going to be as great as quality, but it is what it is. Um, so one of the first things you do build in the set is the 100 Acre Woods sign. You have a pot of honey. Um, I love these little pieces they're on. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a little heart-shaped um, grass platform and they have them throughout the set which is really nice there's lots of hearts including this set um but the sign's really cool two stickers on it uh, i love the little wooden piece on top um really nice so that's a little sign added on and we'll move right into the front as you can see we got a little fire you have all these steps you got mushrooms over there you have a log it's really cool to have a little figure sitting on it jars of honey right behind that i am not too sure what this little blue thing is um i couldn't tell if it was like a bird feeder I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Winnie the Pooh. I just thought this set was really cool, but I could not figure that out. Um, it's really cool how they have these pieces in here. So it's actually on a clear slanted piece connected um, by a little hook. Really cool to get these little angled uh, grass pieces on. You can kind of see the clear piece back there. Um, you got a little snail. Uh, I love the snail. The snail is really cute. They use cherries for the eyes. Um... Both the designs for the roofs are the same, um, but all these little slanted tiles and little cheese slopes uh, put it on different colors, which looks really cool. You got the gold windows, the little flowers in front. Um, you have the side window. Um, really cool. All the details are really, really nice. One of the things I love the most are these little beehives. So these beehives, you can spin them around. You have bees 
everywhere. You have one beehive there and then one beehive up top. Um, the tree was a little bit of a hassle to make because of all the leaves you do have to use. That part's the hardest part of the set, I would say. Not hardest, but most uh, frustrating. Um, and on the other side of this house, um, only really difference is you have a chimney on here uh, and no snail, but you do get the mushrooms over here. It's the same technique. Uh, obviously the tree is different on each side. Um, as you can see, there's no trunk coming over here and there's a cool trunk and roots down there, which is really cool, really nice to add on. Uh, the tree is built really well. Um, I'm trying to see, this is actually slanted, as you can see inside of it. There's that little circular piece and it's tilted off to the uh, left, which gives you these branches. Um, to change and you can actually position the branches yourselves and you can twist them around to whatever way shape or form you like um so it's really hard to get the perfect tree exactly but i like having that little gap for that beehive and then this gap on the side for that beehive but as you can see as i'm moving it the actual house is moving that's because uh, you can connect it so the house actually closes up and it becomes a little house instead of being opened. Um, I don't think it looks as good for display features. Obviously, if you display it by its side, it looks fine. But from the front, it doesn't look as good. It just looks like a tree with a door in it, which I get it. But at the same time, having the house open looks so much better. And I'll show you how that works. As you can see, it says Mr. Sanders on top. The door actually opens inward. Um, really hard to open or pull it back. Um, it says ring also, a little sticker, which is really nice. Um, this top piece is actually printed. That is not a sticker. So looking at all the details inside the house now. So this is opens up. You can see how it connects with the little hook piece and the little um, hook on the other side. So like I said, Piglet's little uh, umbrella is right in there. You do have a map. I'm trying to get a good angle of that map. It's really hard to see. It's really tucked in there, which is unfortunate. And you got little teapots, um, which is really cool. And probably the coolest part of this set is that mirror. So that's a legit mirror inside that you can actually see reflections of. Um, I don't know if it's going to be really hard to see because but I'm going to try putting a figure in there. Uh, you can't see it. Anyways, you got to take my word on it. It's a legit mirror. It works. It's super cool. One of the things I am, I don't ever recall seeing that in another set is having a legit mirror in a Lego set. So super cool. So going on the left side, um, you, it says poo sticks up here. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's saying, I don't know if they're supposed to, I don't know what the poo stick is, but I assume it's something for Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if it's like a slingshot, because usually these are used for slingshots. One fell off, there's two in the box up here. Um, so there's another little heart up there. I don't know what the heart is for. Um, I, I'm, I'm lost, I'm a fake fan of this. Um, but you do have a little fireplace and the chimney actually runs up through the roof. You have a chair, the chair is easy to take out, pops right out so you can put a character in there. It's just one stud. Then you can see the little mirror, or the, you have B up top. It has a little sticker for a little picture, I believe. Uh, then you have the window curtains, honey. There's actually honey inside of there, a little uh, clear yellow stud. Maybe on the right side, we do have more honey up top. Then we do have a cuckoo clock, a candle, and the bed. The bed's a really fun build. Um, I love the color. I love the dark blue with the light blue um, inside. It's really cool. I love the whole interior being this having this blue offset to it. Um, makes it really cool. It's not that big. So displaying the figures, you obviously cannot get all five figures into the interior. You can obviously position them outside when it's open, but you can't fit them in and close it at the same time. It's impossible to fit them all, uh, all in. You can probably fit three is the max you can fit in the interior. So that's the only downside of the set is only being able to fit three figures. Um, Besides that, I think it's one of the best looking sets LEGO has released all of 2021. Um, I'll stand by that, 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 it, that this is one of the best looking LEGO sets that they have released. Um, it's easily one of the most displayable. It's one of the most memorable. People are going to really know what this set is when they see it, especially with all the figures. Um, regardless, if even I'm not even a fan of Winnie the Pooh, and this set is one of my favorite. The build was really fun. Um, this is a very cool set. I mean, a tree, a, a house built inside a tree. It looks very well done. It's a very well done set. Lots of thought went into the set. I'm glad the ideas line took it and was able to make it into a legit set. Um, 
I'm so happy with this set. I would honestly, my final opinion on it, my final verdict, this is definitely a nine and a half out of 10 set. Um, it's obviously doesn't go with my collection that well. I collect all Star Wars, um, but this is a little different and I couldn't help myself from reviewing this set because it was so much fun um, and it's so cool. I know there's gonna be lots of appreciation for the set later on, especially. Um, it's gonna hold its place in the Lego uh, world this play this set is not going anywhere for a while and i think this set has nothing but love for it so anyways guys thanks for watching um i'm going to try doing two videos a week now so i'm really trying to create more content so uh next video is going to be a review of the medieval blacksmith um i'm really going to try making two videos a week we're going to go for it and we're going to try growing so thank you guys for liking commenting subscribing all of that good stuff you guys are the best thank you guys so much